Longtime couple Goldie Hawn and Kurt Russell, who've been together for nearly 40 years, share quite a few properties but spend the most time at their main residence in Los Angeles. While we don't know the exact location of the home, the pair has shared peaks inside such as their luxurious living room, home gym, garden and more. Aside from this, Kurt and Goldie have owned properties across the country, including their longtime getaway in Colorado, a penthouse in Manhattan spanning over 3,000 square feet of space, a vineyard north of Santa Barbara and more. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Kurt Russell and Goldie Goldie Hawn have been together since 1983, and while they never officially married, they have an enviable Hollywood romance that has stood the test of time. Goldie Hawn is an actress who rose to fame in the late 60s and maintained her bankable star status for over 30 years, while Kurt is also an acclaimed actor starring in a long list of films over the decade. The couple has amassed an estimated net worth of about $190 million, which they've invested on a handful of properties to share with their families from LA to New York. City. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment, this time checking out the homes of famous couple Kurt Russell and Goldie Hawn. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. Back in 2017, Goldie and Kurt sold their longtime home in Pacific Palisades for $6.9 million after listing it the year prior for $7.25 million. This house was spacious yet cozy and homey with eccentric touches throughout the interior. They purchased the property in 2004 for nearly $4.12 million, so the sale still paid off for them. Goldie and Kurt's former East Coast style home sat behind a high hedge on almost half an acre of land in the uber expensive Riviera neighborhood. This neighborhood is in the Pacific Palisades area of Los Angeles between the Santa Monica Mountains and the Pacific Ocean, a celebrity favored place. Goldie and Kurt's former residence offered 6,400 square feet inside with five beds and five baths throughout. There was a gorgeous living room lined with bookshelves with a skylight overhead and rich hardwood floors. Nearby, there was the country style kitchen also with a skylight. The kitchen was fitted with a checkerboard pattern and had an eccentrically styled breakfast room to match, which opened via French doors to the garden terraces. One of the bedrooms was on the main floor with two levels with stairs to a loft space up above and backyard access, while the private and luxurious master suite was even more stuffed. There was a fireplace, his and hers closets, and an ensuite bath with chandelier, garden tub, steam shower, and even a dry sauna. One of the other guest rooms on the upper level of the house was turned into a gym and Pilates studio with floor to ceiling mirrors. We know that Goldie loves to have a beautiful outdoor space wherever she lives, and this property was no different. Outside, the private backyard was full of tree shaded terraces, lush gardens, a separate meditation pavilion, and of course, a swimming pool. It's said that after offloading that home, Kurt and Goldie moved to their current property, which they keep quite private. It said this home is just a couple of blocks away, so still in Pacific Palisades, situated on just over half an acre of land on top of a bluff. The couple have shared peaks inside their home life, especially over the last few years, showing off their living room, gym, and much more. In one video, Goldie showed her living room while talking about the health benefits of laughter. She sat on a yellow armchair, which is in front of a fireplace and has a TV mounted on the wall above. Her living room also has hardwood flooring with a fluffy cream rug and shelving to one side. While Goldie was setting up the Christmas tree, you could also see the home's grand staircase and massive chandelier in the background. Another room in Kurt and Goldie's home has white wood panels on the wall, large plants in front of a window, and white wicker chairs and furnishings. Their kitchen here seems to be open plan, with an attached dining nook and a large bed where all of the couple's dogs can relax on. There's also a set of doors on the main level that lead out to the garden, where there's an alfresco dining table as well. Goldie has also shown fans her home gym, where she has a mini trampoline, a spin bike, treadmill, and floor to ceiling mirrors with a bar in one wall. Seemingly a lot like the gym at their old house. The couple's master suite has a cream color scheme and a bay window, letting in tons of natural light. Elsewhere, 
considering Goldie is a devoted Buddhist, she has a Buddha in her garden next to the lawn, likely her meditation space. In 2002, Goldie and Kurt's New York City apartment was also featured in Architectural Digest. It said the couple purchased their high rise here way back in 1997 for $3.85 million, and it's located in Midtown Manhattan. The penthouse spans about 3,500 square feet of space, and it's full of light with floor to ceiling windows overlooking 360 views of the city. Goldie is very spiritual and brings that to her home design, and this penthouse has many accents from India, along with little details like incense, candles, and more. Goldie said about her Manhattan apartment, My dream was to create a peaceful haven inside a very chaotic world. I wanted to be able to walk up the street, come up here, and find real peace. My goal was to stay within an old world feeling while keeping it light and bright. The modern apartment was given a Southeast Asian style in its design when they revamped it, turning large, round, contemporary columns into a square shape and covering them in mahogany for a warmer feel. The entrance of the apartment opened right up to the living room at first, but Goldie wanted division in the space, but also to get a glimpse of the views when you walked in. She and her designer decided to create an entrance hall with a free floating wall and additions like a large Buddha, one of four in the penthouse. Now when you walk in, you can see straight through, past the Buddha, into the living room and out the window. I have a real view, Goldie said of the space. The layout was also altered to connect all of the rooms, opening the kitchen up into the living and dining room. The couple's home has been decked out to reflect the vibe of India, which is Goldie's favorite place to visit. And the room that reminds her the most of it is the living room, which also happens to be the space where she loves to meditate, more specifically on the 1920 Chinese opium bed situated here. Well, now we've taken a look at the homes of longtime Hollywood couple Kurt Russell and Goldie Hawn. Let's not forget, aside from their Los Angeles and New York City properties, the couple also loves to get away to Colorado. They spend every Christmas there, and Goldie's son Oliver Hudson has shown off their Colorado vacation home on Live with Kelly and Ryan. The living room boasts a gigantic stone fireplace and retro furniture, and much like Kurt and Goldie's other homes, it has a welcoming and warm feel in its traditional design. After checking out a few of their properties, past and present, what did you guys think? I like the feel of Kurt and Goldie's homes, and they seem to have a very family-friendly atmosphere. Be sure to let me know your thoughts on their residences down in the comments. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye!